moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> Alright, what is happening everybody? So, we, we skipped a lot of stuff. I did some of the, a lot of the psych quests after the fact that we, uh, you know, accepted the fate of the fact that we are Ifrit. East pool ended up getting taken over. I did record that, but it was a very short episode, so I said, screw it, I'm just going to skip that part. East pool got taken over by Clive's mother, Isabella, and we ended up going back to um, the hideaway. Did some side quests there, and then we talked to Clive, and then we we're going to right our wrongs. And we, we had a um, truth that was actually revealed to us that Sid was talking about that Aether is actually. Destroying the world of Balistia because it's actually bringing a lot of plagues because of the fact that uh, using magic causes uh, Aether to drain the energy out of the land, which is causing death and destruction. So it is also causing curses on people also. So um, that being said, what we're going to do is focus on more of the story. I'm going to skip everything. Everything you see that's skipped is just me doing side content. So this is just me going to the Northford continuing on so so a lot of editing will be happening so i hope you guys enjoy these videos like and subscribe to my channel feedback is always important People thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the Rhine already? 
But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> Don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I offer one of the girls to a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. 
and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. the dame's brooch she must trust you enough to have me look for one of your colleagues a woman by the name of tatienne she's still missing then oh if only i'd comforted her you saw her before she disappeared the day before she was in tears she'd lost her comb a gift from the dame it wasn't anything fancy but you could tell it meant the world to her you see tatienne was an orphan and she looked upon the dame as a mother as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. 
and though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. No one's allowed through the gate in the forest. Oh, however do they get that color? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Now, chew. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? Times are hard, but this here will make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Or a flam's finest, just as promised. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false... I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolence. Tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Born, you now. I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master, anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Ah, <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this. Is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can think. We keep it well hidden, all right? If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Perfumes, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. I haven't seen you around the bay. have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. 
delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. the dames, I see. Sergeant's got it in for us two. As if he... Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But, but I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. It'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pound. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon.
me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Had a bearer. Win the dame's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old sod had a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Sorry, the main city's that way. They're they're in uh, Northford. So before we do go back to Northford, let's finish these two side quests that we gotta do, and then we'll continue on. So we're in the Royal Medals of Oriflame. Orif Oriflame. That's what the that's the cap the capital of. Probably pretty much the, the main capital of Storm. Um, the city's pretty damn big, actually. It looks pretty cool. I love the design. It, it kind of, if you look at the side of the uh, Mother Crystal Mountain, it kind of matches the, the 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 exact design of the way the Mother Crystal Mountain is. The, the geography of it, it's pretty cool looking, man. So the way the, the way they built the city, the main castle kind of goes up matching the way the mountains uh shaped so that's pretty cool anyways we already read that last episode so you work these fields i need to ask you something hmm a branded and an outsider at that judging by the lack of manners why should i help you eh you tell me that because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet chloe have you seen her Chloe, is it? Ah, oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. No, you gotta remember. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Oh man, an idle branded. What are you talking about? This girl says she lost her pet. So you gotta remember this area. They hate branded more than anything. So even more than Northford, which is pretty crazy. So I'm guessing the further we go this way, towards this main city, the further we get into territory where these people like literally Chloe. look at branded like like nothing. Is it, the, is it the Chloe? More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... Someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. The Crystal's Curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? What? Get up now. You've you kidding slept me? long enough. It's time to go home. That's Chloe, Chloe your pet. 
But why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favourite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's That's a very good example of poor parenting right there, man. The freaking kid is brainwashed. That's how you indoctrinate kids to hate... To hate... I'm... To hate other people. I'm so sorry, Chloe. I'm glad that Clive told her the truth. Because that's what she needs to hear. The exact truth to be aware. That's pretty that's pretty damn dark, dude. Besides all the side quests I've done in this game, I mean they've been pretty petty and pointless. That was that was a pretty damn good side quest, even though it was very short. But got straight to the point. What does this guy want? What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy! Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him! All right, where is he? My, I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Benoit or Flame Grandi? For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. This is definitely a freaking setup, Something's dude. Not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Watch out, kid. Oh you are supposed God. to die. Are you kidding me, dude? This is, have you for this. this is another game. Aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Yo, this needs to. Dude, this is really bad. Damn, those poor Brandon, man. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Dude, that's fucked up. You, 
him here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. Too How bad many you... bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Too bad you can't kill that guy. Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. <laughs> the they got with the guy coming to him. Same with bearers. Fed or not, 
They don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Oh, they both deserve their deaths. That was pretty fun, man. I gotta say, those two side quests were probably my favorite so far. Alright, now we can make our way back to Northford. Might as well now because I don't know what else we have left over here. Alright, yeah, let's make our way. Oh, I'm sorry, we gotta go up this way. Writing wrong, so let's go. We gotta go to that chapel, I guess. said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now. So far, this place is pretty cool. Royal Metals. It's got like a dark uh, vibe to it, but I love the setting so far. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private.
So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic. This is literally what's going on in the world today. We must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what We're makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. Exactly. They're corrupted. No. This isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried. But nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. Just if they won't like... give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. Just like our can't world. can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. <laughs> right, I'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. First, we have a gate to crash, and once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of what's going on today with China and our, our government, Ukraine, Russia war, all corrupt. Whoever controls the energy has control of the banks, and our government, our administration currently that's in president is definitely in cahoots with all that you got china organ harvesting you got our country dealing with uh tra tra trafficking young children and then you got the marxist communists that try to fight so they say they're fighting for freedom yeah every time you control power in a small group of people it always goes right to their head and these people think that they can tell you how to live and they know what's better for everybody. And that's never been the case. Look at the communism. How many people it's been, how many people have died in communism over the years? It's in the millions. Wait. It's probably over a hundred million by now. So uh, we were supposed to, this country was built on a, a constitution. Free state where we we're given the God of freedom right to have a constitution free will you have reached a pivotal point m moment in the story if you continue you will not be able to return let me see something real quick so it's saying that we can't return so let's make sure that we complete everything real fast actually you know what i wonder if we can save too bad we can't oh well, there's an auto save I don't see any quests. Let me see. Let's make sure there's no quests. If not, then we'll just continue on. But this is getting really good, so we're going to continue playing the game. 
I gotta leave my I gotta do a first impressions because I think this is I'll just I wonder if this is okay the second part of the game maybe the second half I don't know but you know what we'll do is I want to end this episode here that way we can start fresh on the new episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode smash that like button dislike the smash that dislike button feedback is always important um comment below let me know how you guys like the channel and i'm sorry i like the video all right have a good night